Mary All Blacks gather and edge forward to the 10 meter line and get ready to perform the famous haka. Away in Thurman Park. Safe take, deep in the 22. Clearance skewed a little bit, but uh, safety a touch fan. But there's that breeze taking effect already. Yaka Tata coming in to help out. Williams onto that left boot. As he found touch, hasn't. The breeze again just holding that ball up. Mary All Blacks looking to counter. All clear. And Guiton All caught clear. as he went to pass the ball away, but he was tackled by an offside player. Monster not rolling away from the tackle. Penalty shot conceded. Goal, yeah. They're going to have a shot at goal. Straight away has a shot from the kicking tee. Opportunity to open the scoring. Tricky angle. No, stays away to the right hand side. side with a conversion attempt sends it on its way it's a good contact doesn't make it though price again with a carry he's never gone round well, it's good recycling from the Mary all blacks has that little bit of space opened up McKenzie into the line Low driving and in yes. the condition slides across, touches down, try for the Maori All Blacks. And the visitors have silenced the crowd, it was just continuous pressure. It was scrappy at times, Liam, but they kept the ball alive brilliantly. <laughs> Missed with his first attempt, it was a lot more difficult than this one. Doesn't miss on this occasion, the Maori All Blacks have the lead. 
James Bowman. Long clearance, spinning viciously. Andrew Conway watches sat up nicely for him, just on his own 22. Let him run! Comes back and has a little chip, searching one. You don't want to be kicking into this guy's hands. Indeed not. Look at that for pace for the number eight. And on come the Mario All Blacks again. Lovely off play, was it? Forward now, it wasn't. Ambrose Curtis on his debut. He goes in to score. Another tricky kick for a Terry Black right out near the touchline. Oh, that's a great effort from Black. Beautiful kick. Another two points. Suddenly there's a bit of daylight between Munster and the Maori All Blacks. All Blacks have the ball. No, they don't. Oh, great skill from the open side. And there's a bit of space wide. Oh, can't in the line. Sweden calling it a run. Steps inside one tackle. A Terry Black is there to make the tackle and bring him down. Well, the ball look, went loose and the tackle tackle. Out to Sweden. Chips into the 22. And now he's chasing it down. The ball's gone loose. Down and close to the win. The monster player looked like he was choking out. So he's onside. Six. It's a penalty shot. Reed Prinsap will go to the bin. Ash Dixon asks the question, but he saw it on the big screen as well. Penalty try. Points. Tackler not releasing the ball, referee did give him the call. Him. Don't play him. Six, no clear release. Tap from McKenzie, Copeland got there, drove him backwards, All Blacks have the ball. Oh, he's got the ball, now it is, it's a foot race. Subo's got back into pace, he just needs to get wide. Keatley successful with one from two. Tricky angle for Keatley. Into this breeze, it'll go across the posts. Very, very small target. And there's the wind just taking it away. Low in from the wind. Oh dear me, it's a high tackle. Williams puts his hands up. An apology straight away. He's off to the bin. Stop the counter-attack before it could happen. Opportunity now, can the All Blacks get it wide? The kick back down, where's it going to bounce? Bounce favourably for the Maori All Blacks. It's an open and play. Bruce Curtis did really well to keep the ball in play as he slid to the touchline. Archer putting in a big tackle on the big second row. Ball comes out. Copeland reaches back. Secures possession for Munster. Middle box kick for Williams. Yes. Two from four. Difficult angle, five meters in. He's just outside the 22. He's curled out nicely. What a kick from Ian Cooper. He's been super from the hand. Four there, all through the game. He's been brilliant. Cut off the kicking tee as well. Munster have a 13 point margin. West moving the ball on. Time's mine, understood. You can tell by the noise of the first kick. They trailed in this game by 14 points to five, but they battled back and they battled in front and they battled right to the end. I suppose the countdown to this game was all about history in the making and you've made history tonight.
yeah, it was all about Ospreys and the league last week. And then next thing we kind of woke up Monday morning and realised, whoa, we actually have an unbelievable fixture this weekend. And it's just been so exciting to prepare, to prepare all week. And we knew it was going to be like that. We knew it was going to be tough physical. These guys are top level players. Most of them are internationals. And it's just, it was an unbelievable fixture to play in. And we're just so glad to come out the other end of it. It's almost a bit surreal. What about your own point of view? I mean, two of the big things tonight, the scrum was so good and also the line-out, plenty of line-out deals against the Mario Blacks. Yeah, well, look, it was horrendous conditions. Uh, myself and Ashley Dixon were probably nearly having a laugh with each other halfway through because the conditions were so bad. But credit to Darren O'Shea. He's leading the line-out the last few weeks and the pressure that we put on him was pretty much all down to him and his organisation. So I think he deserves huge credit. And uh, we just got the rewards out of it. And same, Stephen Archer in the scrum tonight was unbelievable. Pete McCabe to come on. He hasn't had a lot of game time recently, and you wouldn't have known that he hadn't played much. He was absolutely incredible as well. So I just think if you look around at the youth we have and stuff coming through, and the lads can put it up to competitors like that, it's just great signs for Munster Rugby. The noise out there, the buzz, it's just, I think from minute one, it was just, and even when we went 14 points down, you know, we were under the sticks, and it was such cool heads, and everyone knew we could come back, especially. Coming back from Ulster, 14 points down up there, that's where saying to lads, we can do this. And the crowd are insane, unbelievable, especially these conditions. And I think everyone bought in, our defence was outstanding. Um, just lads are coming off the line, putting their bodies on the line. It was unbelievable, unbelievable out there. So you almost got over for a try, and then Duncan Williams uh, gave you a nice little dink <laughs> yeah, over the top yeah. of the defence? Yeah, it's not the first time it's happened. It's, it's, we've done it a few times in training, so I think we're, we're on the same wavelength. Uh, we just spotted the winger, full back in the breakdown, and like Williams put it over, put it over, and he knew exactly. So uh, it was good, worked out. And what about for you facing the hack? What was that like for you? Yeah, um, the last time I faced it was under 20s. Um, it, it, it's it's an unbelievable experience, um, and they showed unbelievable respect with the jersey um, they laid down for Anthony Foley. And uh, you know, it's just one of those unbelievable occasions. And we're all wearing our school and club socks and representing Castro College. Um, so it's 10 years, I think, since I put on these socks. Um, so, yeah, it's a great day and we'll, we'll enjoy tonight.